Alright, hello YouTube. Um, I was asked to do a video of the uh, whole house fan. Um, it's on my top floor. Goes into the attic. So, um, yeah, I figured I might as well do a video of it. Um, I honestly kind of forgot we even had this. Like, I never even noticed it, like, when I go down the hall. So, um, yeah, I, I forget we even have it. Because we never use it. It's very loud. So, let's go up into my attic, which is an absolute disaster. <laughs> it's, the ceilings in here are only, I would say, four feet high, like three feet where the joists come down, or across. We don't have a floor up here, so it's a little difficult to walk around. Uh, we need to do a better position here. We got a piece of wood right here. Not too hot today, so that's why I figured I would do it today. So here's the fan. You know, has a fairly good sized motor there. Uh, I've never even read any information on this, so. Not getting a good shot there. This is a C. Mag Magnet Tech. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, there's some information there. There's some mounting information. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, right here we've got. 120 volts, 60 hertz, uh, rated for point five point oh amps, uh, and it's supposed to draw 55,100 CFM, so, um, I guess average house fan, but this thing is extremely loud, um, it's got a guard around it here, uh, that's actually a little mangled, as you can see, it comes Pretty much touches there, but it has like an inch to spare on either side there. Quarter of an inch there, as you can see, it's a little damaged. I don't even know what this is made out of. Oh, it's that um stuff that they use for pots. When you buy like a plant, it's the uh, kind that you uh, put in the ground, so it's kind of like cardboardy. There's the uh, capacitor right there. Anyways, let's get started. Actually, you know what? Before we get started. Let me go over here. I had to take all the light bulbs out and uh, put them in different fans like the um, Emerson Designer and the Delta 2 in my parents' bedroom. So right here, here's the tempo because someone was wondering what happened to that. Uh, here's the summer breeze. Oh, you can't even see that really because um, it is so dark. There's supposed to be a light right here. Um, anyways, there's a summer breeze. Here's my last go down over here. Um, jet to, um, I don't even remember what's in this box. Oh, Hampton Bay Landmark Motor and Globe. And then right here is the, uh, um, SMC, uh, Globe. So, I know most of you were wondering what happened to some of those fans, and... There they are, so I'm going to go back downstairs and turn on the uh, attic fan. Alright, so here's the uh, switch right here. It's actually a variable speed switch. Uh, it's not just a regular toggle on-off switch, so let's go ahead and start it off on low. A little picture of Rottweiler right there. So there it is right there. It's a little louder than I remember it. Bearings are probably going. So there's its uh, max speed on low. Um, 
that doesn't do anything right there because the uh, vents are supposed to come up. Alright, so I'm gonna give it, I don't even know how to like really do this. I wish we had a better ladder here. The table I made in shop class. Um, maybe I guess till the vents are coming up. I think the left side comes up first. So they're starting to vibrate. So we're gonna go up now. So there it is right there. All right, so that's, I don't know, about medium lowish to medium. know how to make a better video of this it's kind of difficult thing to do so let's go to know, so it's straight you can see one side has started to come up there goes the other side so at this point it does start to work since events have gone up so this is I'd say this is about medium speed right here It is a little bit off kilter, but since it's mounted straight to the joist, it, uh, it doesn't really affect anything. Alright, let's uh, kick it up a notch. Let's go to medium high. Very powerful fan. Whew. Not a good idea to leave the uh, attic entrance open while this is going because it uh, takes all the hot air and just kind of like shoots it up here and it's coming out the attic entrance. So there it is on medium high. rather cold right here though it feels good I didn't even know this was capable of that so let's maximum overdrive or jet engine mode whatever you want to call it and this thing is absolutely insane on high if you guys can hear me, but this thing is extremely loud. Uh, it, it's spinning at probably over 500 RPMs, probably between 500 and 1,000 RPMs right now. It, it think, this thing is insane. Um, yeah, this was a common thing back in the uh, late 70s to 80s. Um, quite a few houses around here have them. So, um, Instantly, right after I shut it off, it starts to uh, close. Um, I'm assuming spin down is going to be rather quick. Oh, I didn't shut it off. My bad. Oh, crap. So, we're going to have to redo that one. Now it is off. I didn't feel it click for some reason. And the way I knew that it wasn't off is because you can hear it hum. Yeah, I'm sorry if camera quality here isn't the greatest because uh, that's only a 60 watt bulb above it and uh, I took all the 100 watt bulbs. Actually, all the lighting up here 
was me, I put like, what did I do? One, two, three, four, five. Five light fixtures because it was just too dark up here. There's only one to begin with. And uh, I wasn't even in a good position. It was kind of facing outward. It was rather hot up here after I turned that on. So, anyways, let me get out of this uh, hot, sweaty attic. Uh, uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so, whole house fan. Very cool, very powerful. Thanks for watching.